Back here at Mount Panorama, the first man to go out in the two, he's top 10, Alan Grice. He's Commodore from the Holden Racing Team. He's 1.78 seconds off the pace yesterday with 215.62. Gricey, an old hand here at Mount Panorama, a former great race winner. And he will wring everything out of this Commodore. He's already warmed up the tyres superbly. Coming up, and Grice is underway. The first car to run in the 1990 edition of Tui's Top Ten. Up to the left-hander. The exit out of here takes it very wide. A little bit of grass on the way through there. But he will have this motor screaming as he heads up Mountain Straight. And it is a sound that a lot of fans here at Mount Panorama really enjoy. The booming Aussie V8. Here he comes up to Repco Corner, the right-hander in the climb now across the mountain. Out wide. He's certainly giving it plenty. BP cutting the next one, the left-hander, through the gears. Sideways, tail almost out against the concrete. Wait for the cheers at the top of the mountain now. Some of those Holden fans can hear him coming. Beautiful line. Put the front wheel there on the kerb. Watch him through here. Just a little bicycle through there. Comes into view across the top of Skyline. Down to the S's. That's the time to the top of the mountain, 1.13.16. We'll be able to compare times of other cars for you. To Forest Elbow now. We take Dulux Auto Colour Race Cam. We'll be riding with Alan Grice and Wynn Percy tomorrow. Out wide against the wall. Now all the way to the floor. Just another day at the office, Bruce, for Alan Grice. Well, this will be the fastest part of the circuit for him, and he's absolutely flying. Gets down towards Caltex Chase. A couple of sharp turns coming up, but he'll be going flat out here, Mike. Absolutely. He was flat through there. Just a little back off for a second. That's his time so far, 159.201 to there. Grice coming out, pointing it down. The last turn. First car to run into his top ten. The Telecom Mobiles Holden team across the line for Alan Grice. 47 year old Alan Grice, who was the fastest man here on the mountain in 1982, is on 216.17. So he's a little slower than he was in qualifying at 215.62. A respectable time, just the same. That was a good pressure drive, and he handled it beautifully. 216, 216.17. Somewhat slower than uh, qualifying. Is that fast enough to uh, to be the fastest Commodore? I wouldn't think so. Obviously, it wasn't a very good lap. Um, have to have a look at it. It didn't seem too bad. I got a little sideways a couple of times, but uh, time wasn't there, so it wasn't a good one. <laughs> it was a bit sideways at the start of the lap. Is that where you lost the time? Yeah, it could have been. Uh, just wasn't quite right as I came out of the cutting and went for the right-hander as well. But... Um, it's done now, just not good enough, <laughs> but payday's tomorrow, isn't it?